What's up guys? So day four of the alternator saga. So got a new alternator finally. Um, it came, do you have the original pulley that it came with? There it is. <laughs> so tiny. So uh, bought a new alternator. It's a 220 amp one. And uh, this is the pulley that comes with it, which is just puny um, and a six rib, not an eight rib. So uh, I took the pulley, the bigger pulley off of the alternator that I got from Paul. So now I got a bigger alternator. So I'm definitely spinning this alternator slower, which isn't going to be a problem. So I'm not exactly sure if that'll tone down the amperage. Maybe it will. But if anything, it'll be spinning less. So instead of 220 amp, maybe I'm pulling, I don't know. This is just a complete guess, maybe 180, 160. Uh, still plenty for the car um, and hopefully make this last a little bit longer, which will be good. Uh, really cool thing that James here from Full Tilt made me is he put a, he actually made his own heat shield for the backside of the alternator to uh, protect it from the uh, heat from the headers. So that might be enough. We might try to figure out a way to get some air to it. Uh, worst case scenario, I think that heat shielding really help because uh, those headers get uh, get real hot. And you, we'll, we'll show you underneath the car too so you can probably see it a little bit better. Uh, but we're just going to be throwing in this alternator. Battery in, get that all taken care of. I'm still waiting uh, uh, for information on the steering shaft. So that'll still be a little bit yet. We should be able to fix this little charging issue and uh, be good to go. All right, so we're under the car here. Can I show you guys that heat shielding a little bit? It looks great. Oh yeah, so there's the manifold right there. Boop. And then the heat shield is gonna protect it somewhat. So, pretty cool. James came up with an idea to have the inlet hose here. So we got that zip tied in there. That way any diverted air that's you know bouncing off of this will go straight into this tube here. So we have running underneath the car and then zip tied there into the alternator. Then we have that heat shield as well. And then that other plastic shielding is gonna go here. And I'm obviously gonna zip back up my uh, brake duct hosing, but hopefully that should uh, at least make this alternator last as long as humanly possible in this car. So. All right, we got battery hooked up, all that. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and start it up again. See if it charges. Yeah, you guys thought it was gonna blow up, didn't you? Alrighty guys, that's going to do it. I cannot tell you what a relief to finally have the uh, battery light issue gone, alternator fixed, new battery, new grounds, everything fixed. We've got the heat shield on the alternator, got the air duct going into to give it some fresh air. Um, so yeah, big relief, really happy. Got to wait on the steering shaft see what uh, goes on with that, see what they uh, come up with for me. Uh, not Full Tilt, the uh, company I bought it from. And uh, yeah, so meanwhile, I'll just have to sit next to the Cobra R. I don't think it'll mind. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series. It's uh, coming to an end. I don't know if I'll do a video on the steering shaft, if it works, great. Uh, so the next uh, set of videos will hopefully be a drive-along video. I bought some new uh, audio equipment. 
so I bought some uh, some better microphones so we'll look forward to making that video with a bunch I got a bunch of different mics for the exhaust the engine bay and the inside so hopefully that'll be coming out here in probably I would say probably a month or two uh, once the roads are clear of all the salt and everything like that and uh, anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one